Buongiorno a tutti. I know it's been a couple of days since I posted, which brings me to the announcement that from now on, I don't think I'll be posting it every day anyways. I don't mind studying every day, but I just realized that I bit more than I can chew, which is a good idiom that I should make a video about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I bit more than I can chew and filming and editing and posting, it just takes too much time out of my day. So now I'll be doing it once or twice a week. But I'll continue studying every day for at least 30 minutes. Maybe not on Sundays though. So let me share what I learned from days 18, and 19 and 20. I'm on lesson 34 in my BUSO and I learned the shopping list. I learned three very important verbs. Aprire, to open. Chiudere, to close. And comprare, to buy. And names of the shops. La pescheria. La macelleria. Lia. La panetteria. La cartoleria. La libreria. And I also learned things that you can buy in these shops. Il sale. L'olio. L'ovo. La frutta. Il latte. Il pane. La, pe la pasta. Il riso. La carne. La carne. Le verdure. In day 19, I found out that in Italian, they also have countable and uncountable nouns. Oh, joy! And the word some, or any, can be dello, della, or del. I also learned such important words as molto, or tante, poco, troppo, and abbastanza. That's a difficult word to learn. Mm, I'll try. And of course, they change. If it's masculine and singular, you say poco, molto, tanto, troppo. Masculine plural is pochi, molti, tanti, troppi. Feminine singular, poca, molta, tanta, troppa. And feminine plural, poche, molte, tante, troppe. Which is logical. Makes sense. In day 20, I learned different expressions for hobbies. Leggere un libro, which I knew from before, and guardare la TV, also. Ascoltare la musica, very similar to Romanian. Hmm. Pulire la casa, to clean the house. That's a difficult one to remember. That's even more difficult to do. Cucinare, hmm. that's an old one. Giocare ai videogiochi and fare un pisolino. I just love how it sounds. Pisolino, like from cat, pisica. <laughs> and actually, uh, to, to have a nap. In English, you also call it catnap. When you sleep for a short time, catnap. So it's very, very easy for me to remember pisolino from cat. And outdoor activities, andare in bicicletta, fare sport, andare al cinema, not now, but maybe soon, incontrarsi, I still haven't learned that, incontrarsi con gli amici, meet up with friends, now we can do it, and uh, andare a fare shopping, just wearing masks, right? And fare le foto. That's all for today. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and see you next time. Ciao!